Amplify Science Matter and Energy and Ecosystems, review of the modeling tool used in chapter one and two. So we take a look at the modeling tool. Now in this case, it's completed. I went through and uh, tried to incorporate every bit of knowledge from all the components from these two sets of lessons and complete a, a thorough modeling tool sample. So I wanna go through this really quick with you. In the upper left, we've got the sun. And the sun, of course, is uh, providing energy through sunlight to the producers. Uh, and in there, I have the process of photosynthesis in which I have energy and carbon dioxide going in and the output of energy storage molecule. Uh, I also show carbon dioxide in the air uh, pointing to the producer. And I have six of those arrows because as we learned in class when we talked about the whiteboard, uh, six carbon dioxide molecules are used to synthesize one energy storage molecule. Uh, you will also see that I have the process of cellular respiration going on because plants are living things and they uh, have cellular respiration. And the input is an energy storage molecule and the output uh, is energy and carbon dioxide. So I have six carbon dioxide molecules pointing back up into the air as byproducts from that cellular respiration. Uh, you see energy storage molecules stored in the producer. I show some of the energy storage molecules going into dead matter, which would represent any producer that dies that would be available for decomposers. We then show energy storage molecules pointing to the primary consumer because when a primary consumer consumes a producer, they gain energy storage molecules. In the primary consumer, we have six carbon dioxide molecules going up into the abiotic air uh, because of cellular respiration. And here it is again with an input of energy storage molecule and an output of energy and carbon dioxide. Uh, and then there are the energy storage molecules available in the primary consumer. And if a primary consumer were to die, energy storage molecules would end up in the, in the, uh, in the soil available for decomposers. And also if a secondary consumer comes along and eats a primary consumer, we need to show with an arrow that energy storage molecules are passed along to the secondary consumer. Secondary consumer also has cellular respiration going on with the same inputs and outputs as we just covered and the same six carbon dioxide molecules going up and the same energy storage molecules going into the soil representing any death in the secondary consumers. We also have energy storage molecules uh, moving to decomposers and that would be true of any of these producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers. I may even uh, you know, drop that one out of there just because there's really no direct secondary consumer to decomposer, it's just representing just like uh, in the bottom that if any of these die and end up in the soil, the decomposer would decompose them. Uh, and then because decomposers also have cellular respiration, uh, the six carbon dioxide molecules uh, return to the air. Uh, if we open one of these up by clicking on them, uh, you will see that uh, I've included one energy storage molecule. There really is 36 uh, icons of energy in there because it produces 36 ATPs, but we don't need to know that at this point. You can save that for high school. And if you were to take a closer look, you'd see six carbon dioxide molecules in the, each one of those cellular respirations. And then in the photosynthesis, you would see uh, energy, but you'd also see six carbon dioxide molecules producing one energy storage molecule. I also have carbon dioxide going from the dead matter to the air, representing, again, from the decomposers. So this is not an exact answer. You could represent yours a number of ways. As I said, I, there's some other choices I might make as I represent these with the different tools. But the idea is that you need to have a firm grasp of the sunlight, the role of sunlight, the role of carbon dioxide, what's happening in photosynthesis, what's happening in cellular respiration, and the passing on of energy storage molecules, and the role of decomposition.